beat them four out of the last five times. So when we play UCLA, we expect to win. And they're, a, they're a very good team, um, and, and, and so are we. We have 24 wins, and they have 28 now. So uh, give UCLA credit. Uh, they've had a great season. Uh, their players have done a great job this season of um, uh, elevating their uh, team to, to be ranked where they are, and, and so have our players. Now, we have 24 wins ourselves. And, and we, uh, we had Benny Bowright out for 18 games, four freshmen, two transfers, and only four returnings. So uh, um, we're, our staff is extremely proud of our players to, to be here, uh, where we are right now, and also uh, to be able to compete against the best teams in the country. And we expect to go to the NCAA tournament uh, next week, and, and uh, we're going to lay it on the line and do our best. What did you think of the, the energy and intensity at the start? Of what start? The start of the game. Well, we missed every shot we took, so uh, the energy wasn't bad, but our, sh our shooting was terrible. When you start start 4 for 20, and we, I think we started 0 for 8 or 0 for 9 and 4 for 20, but we battled back. And then we got down again and battled back. And, uh, and so, you know, it's a, it's a one possession game with under four minutes and back and forth, and we missed a front end of a one on one. We missed, Jordan missed a front end, and we missed a couple layups. We just missed a follow up here at the end. It rolled around the rim and out, could have cut it to one with <laughs> under 30 seconds. So, uh, you need a little breaks. Uh, there were some officiating calls that went against us. I won't comment uh, on whether they're good calls or not, but they all went against us down the stretch. And, and uh, Jonah Matthews had, was guarding uh, TJ Leaf, and TJ Leaf backed into his chest, and uh, they called a block. He was just standing there. And Elijah Stewart blocked a shot, and they gave him two shot foul. So, so, uh, and then Jordan comes off a ball screen, and, and Thomas Welsh uh, draws contact on, on our ball handler. Uh, and, and there's no call there. So, uh, you know, the, the officiating doesn't determine a game, but in this case, um, you know, we had a couple calls go against us. And, uh, I'll never say anything because the officials have it, they do a great job in our league and, 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 they, uh, and they have a tough job. Uh, so, uh, in a game like this with one possession down the stretch, uh, it's nice to get a few calls go your way, but unfortunately tonight they didn't. Uh, but that's not, didn't determine the outcome of the game. Were you okay with the shot selection at the beginning of both of the halves when you guys kind of struggled a little bit? I'm sorry? Were you okay with the shot selection at the beginning of both of the halves when you guys struggled? Oh, our, our better player, our best players didn't didn't play very well in, a, in, a, in those stretches, our starting lineup. Uh, and, and so uh, our, our starting lineup has to do a better job. They have to score the ball. Uh, you, you can't just go over. Uh, I think we had we went 0 for whatever, 0 for 8 or 9, and start the second half, we just made that jump shot, and we, then we went 0 for 8 or 9 again. And, and our starters have to do a better job, or they won't be starting much longer. Have you found a rhyme or reason why you guys have started half slowly the way you have at times this year? Seems like well, you guys find the eight ballers. Well, you've seen a lot of our games, if not all, and we're streaky. So that's a pretty, pretty simple answer. We're, we're a streaky team offensively. Uh, when we get it going, we, we can score a lot of points in bunches. and, and uh, Sometimes, but but I'll tell you what. Uh, last yesterday we had eight turnovers, and today we had eight turnovers. So we're not turning the ball over. Uh, we missed some easy shots tonight, you know, especially to start the first and second half. And uh, we're playing solid basketball on both ends. You've given UCLA maybe two of its toughest games all season for them. Uh, how good do you feel about your team that you can really probably play with most anybody? Well, we can't play for anybody. You know, Arizona was a three-point game with 38 seconds left, and we didn't have Benny Boatwright in that game. You know, and they banked a three in from 30 feet at the end of the shot clock. You know, the Oregon game was a one-possession game with 2.20 left, and they hit the ball out of bounds, and the official gave it, uh, gave it back to them, and they hit a three. It was, it was, a, it was the wrong call, but they couldn't go to the monitor. Uh, it, was, it was over two minutes. So we were in a one-possession game in Arizona and Oregon. We beat UCLA. Uh, we're in a one-possession game here with UCLA. Uh, we beat SMU, who's ranked 14th in the nation. Uh, we're the only team in the Pac-12 to play UCLA three times, Oregon twice, Arizona twice. Uh, SMU has 27 wins. We're the only team in the country to play eight games, eight teams, or eight games, I should say, uh, with, with teams with 27 or more wins. Uh, so we've had a challenging schedule. Uh, you know, we went on the road and beat Texas A&M in the SEC. They won the SEC last year. I know uh, they didn't have as great a year as, as they did last year. And, uh, but the bottom line is Benny Boatwright was our leading scorer, and, we, uh, and so. You know, you take Laurie Markin off of Arizona and give us boat right, you know, we still played a one possession game without him. You know, the cow game, we lost to the buzzer. You know, you take Ivan Rab off the cow team and give us boat right, you know, maybe it's a different story. But, but 
I truly believe the Pac-12 should have um, five teams in. Cal is a terrific basketball team. I think Cal should be in the NCAA tournament. They can beat anybody in this country with the way to defend, and Conzo Martin does a terrific job. Uh, and, and I certainly think uh, uh, any team in the Pac-12 this year with, with um, UCLA, Oregon, Arizona, us, uh, and Cal uh, can win some games. And so uh, very, very proud to play in the Pac-12, and I think the league has been terrific this year. How much confidence does he give you going into potentially playing more games that Elijah Stewart got going tonight? Well, he's a, he's a good player. He's been struggling. Like I said, he, he asked me, why can't we make shots? Well, we're streaky, and Elijah uh, is, is always <laughs> streaky. You saw a good side of Elijah tonight. You know, he's been struggling lately with his perimeter jump shot and his decision making, and tonight he played great. He played both ends of the floor, made shots, defended, he rebounded, and uh, when he plays like that, he's as good as any guard in this league. When you play your guts out like your team did, but you don't win, is that how does that sit with you tonight? Well, you, as a coaching staff, all you can ask your players is, is to go out and give great effort, be great teammates, and, and, and lay it on the line. And they did that tonight. And we were two points short. As I said, we missed a few layups. The front end with under three minutes left. A couple of layups. We missed that follow up. You know, if one of those goes in, and that if, if we don't get one or two of those calls at the other end with uh, you know, the Jonah Matthews, they called a block on him, and then Elijah's block shot that they called a foul. Maybe we have a chance to win in the, in the last uh, 30 seconds. Uh, and, and so we're just proud of our players. They did a great job tonight, and uh, we'll take it from there. We have a big week next week. Elijah hasn't started four games now. Is that, you mentioned earlier that it was a coach's decision. Is, is it just because of the shooting, or is, is that the main reason why he's well, starting now? Uh, he, he struggled defensively and offensively, and, and uh, he was late for a, uh, a, a practice. Uh, so we decided to, uh, to make a change. Uh, but if, if you notice, he played 29 minutes yesterday against Washington. Uh, so and he, he, it doesn't matter who starts for us. We, we've had, I think, all, our top eight have all started games this year. Uh, so Shaquan Aaron's been playing very well. Jonah Matthews played really well tonight after being uh, uh, out, out with a concussion. Uh, Anthony Mellon's had great games, so it doesn't matter who starts. Nick Rakosa was great tonight. You know, he's played great the last two or three weeks. He's really getting better. Uh, and even Charles Buggs, who's been injured, um, you know, he, he's had knee, knee issues, and he's even started games. So, so we don't care who starts. We just want our players to go compete like they did tonight and, and see what happens. Is it at times hard to evaluate this team, considering for, for the last eight games they've played have been against Oregon, UCLA, Arizona? So is it a challenge to try and evaluate progress or anything like that? Well, I think you saw tonight. Uh, you tell me. I think we're a pretty good team. We got 24 wins. <laughs> you don't get 24 wins if you're not a good team. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I'm going to remind you, Benny Boatwright was out 18 games. See, if, if we were on the East Coast, that's all I'd be talking about. But because we're on the West Coast, no one even mentions that. How the heck does – let me rephrase it. Don't say heck because you know, my, my uh, daughters won't like that. But how does USC have 24 wins even with Boatwright out for 18 games? Uh, in an entire first half of the Pac-12. That, 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 to me, that's the story. That's the story because if you look around that locker room in there, those players stepped up. The freshmen, the upper class from Jordan McLaughlin, Benny, uh, Chemezi Metu and Elijah Stewart and, and, and Shaquan Aaron and Trent, they all elevated their games to, to put us in this position, to have 24 wins. So when you le lose 17 points a game, which Bo Wright averaged in the Pac-12 when, when he came back, that's, that's tough and he's 6'10". So, so that, to me, that's the story that he was out, and, and these guys got it done and put them in self position to play in the NCAA tournament next week and compete with anyone in the Pac-12. Do you think more consistency in late game situations is the biggest hurdle the team needs to overcome to make it to the next tier, like with the Arizona, UCLA, and Oregon? More consistency, meaning what? Just like better performance overall in game situations. Well, it, we've won a few close games this year, and we lost a few. Uh, uh, Obviously tonight, you know, if Jordan makes those two free throws, now it's a one-point game. A couple of those layups go in. Uh, it's a one-point game or tie game. Uh, or, or maybe we have a lead. But what, whether you yeah, – what was the other one? No, then we, we, we threw the, 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 the bigs, Chemezi and Benny threw the ball to each other, and they had to rain on the basket. And, and I guess uh, – I don't know if they missed a shot or lost it out of bounds. Yeah, that was another uh, point-blank chance we had to, to, try to, to try to score down the stretch. So. Uh, we, we, we had what we wanted. I mean, who, who can argue with Jordan McLaughlin, an 80% foul shooter on the line, and, and uh, uh, a couple layups? 